Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to go to my classroom. I have my ID. I picked that up on the first when we were allowed to go back in the building. And I went up there a little bit the very next day and moved my furniture the way that I want it because I've drawn out the design for my classroom because I'm basically starting from square one. I'm changing my theme and I'm doing flexible seating this year. So, so much to do. And even though I've drawn out the design, I'm just like, where do I start? So, here we go. Okay, I am in my classroom. And it feels like so bare and so incomplete, like a little bit of anxiety, but I have a plan. I am going to do my outside bulletin board. I'm going to do my um, student of the week board and my phonics wall. Those are the three things I have to have complete before I leave today. Anything after that is just kind of a plus and it's already hot and I'm already out of breath. So here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. I'm in the workroom right now because I'm getting ready to create the words that are going over my bulletin board. And it's going to say, be a rainbow. And I'm going to show you how I use that. I mean, how I make that. And uh, really quick, and it's really simple. This is the outside bulletin board and this is where you put all the student work now I still have to put up the clothes pins and I'm waiting on either purchasing um, some of the um, I guess you could call them picture icons that I glue on top of the um, clothes pins to show their names but this is their look at my student work board so everybody can see it and it says be a rainbow. Um, I'm putting some be statements here on the clouds. Um, be kind, be you. And then this is the partially finished like student of the week wall. And so um, one of those posters will be going there. And I cannot for the life of me figure out like what to call it like. Because, you know, at the end of the rainbow, there's like a pot of gold. So maybe I can say like the golden student or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, in the comments. There you go. Help me out. In the comments, I want you to write, what do you think I should put there? Because that would be so helpful. And then here I was thinking about gluing little rainbows. I can go to Office Max or something like that and see if they have any, if not rainbows, maybe suns. And yeah, so that's that. So as you can see, it is dark outside. Just wanted to point that out. But I have two more walls to do. I'm going to do this phonics wall. I'm totally going to revamp that. I don't like it. It wasn't as um, efficient as it should have been last year just because the space is so small. And I'm going to fix that before I leave. Like that was the must-dos 
um, of my goals today. And then I really want to try and get started tapering off the writing wall, which I'm going to put over there in that back corner. And we'll see about laminating some papers for my cafe wall and for my calendar wall, which is going back there. So I still have a lot of work to do. And it's still really hot. And now I'm hungry. All right, so for my phonics wall, I picked up some bulletin board border from, tar from, from Target, from their dollar bin. I'm not like too crazy about Target, but I do love their dollar bins. And this comes with 14 pieces in each, and it was only a dollar. I had like six of these, and I think I'm gonna put them on the phonics wall. And, um, and then the washi tape, I'll get the same colors um, maybe like a yellow or red or green or whichever one of those colors of the rainbow I feel like picking that day. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. problem my letters are way too big to go at the top of that without taking up too much space for the actual phonics cards so I need to go back to the workroom laminate some more paper and start all over again but just on the words though we have new letters so let's do this It is now 9.30, guys, and um, I've only been up here at 6, so it's not that bad. Um, I did manage to finish, finish my phonics wall, my student of the week, my bulletin board. So right now, I am about to tackle my writing wall, like I said, which is going over there, and also um, my calendar wall. Now... Other classrooms, they have a wall that has a whiteboard and like the regular wall, I have two whiteboards. So the trick is I found this really cute tablecloth. It's really long, it's folded in half right now. And I'm going to try and hot glue it to the whiteboard. I'm not sure if that'll work. love to start my calendar wall but I cannot find the tape I need the tape to mark where I'm going to put it so that I'm just not standing there holding the thing up ah! okay that's okay I'm okay just find the tape gotta find the tape okay so I found the tape <laughs> and the plan is to um, tape it off so that I know where to put the border that's going to go around it because, of course, you have to section everything off with border um, because we need to have 
a wall for each content area. So that's math, science, social studies, writing, reading. Yes, five. Um, and then, hmm, I don't know what then. Let's just get it. Stupid idea. So let's just go ahead and hot glue and hope for the best. That was another stupid idea. Um, I did not take into account that, um, well, I knew there was plastic on the front. You don't want to put the super glue, sorry, the hot glue on the plastic because then it melt it. I was saying, you know, let's just give it a try and put it on the back and see what happens. But there's fabric on the back. And I'm like, wait a minute. If I do this whole thing, when I try to take it off, it's going to like pull the tablecloth apart. So I'll just save that and probably use it in some other area. So right now I need to go laminate more paper and that will be the background of my calendar wall. But I think I should measure first. Okay, so here I have just laminated like a bunch of butcher paper so that I can cut it so that it fits on my wall and then I can super glue that and super glue all my calendar things to it and then, you know, get some really pretty border to put around and yeah, call it a day. Y'all, my room is like so trashed right now. Like I have a bad habit of taking everything out to see what I have and then putting it up and then putting it away. I know it's kind of backwards, but that's what I do. <laughs> okay, so since it is 10 o'clock, I told myself I was going to leave no matter what was finished. It will still get done. It gets done every year. I do this every year. But I am going to laminate a couple of things so that I could take them home with me and cut out so that when I come up here tomorrow, I will be a bit more prepared. So I have my calendar um, pictures and numbers and months. So I'm going to go ahead and laminate these. And I love the fact that this pack comes with the special day occasions that you can drop in the pouch. And I did not have any. I did, but then I couldn't find them. And my next door neighbor, uh, well, my class next door neighbor, gave me her extra set. So I was really happy about that. So I'm going to laminate those. And then I had a, um, these. Today is, yesterday was, tomorrow will be. But I didn't like how it was so little and I didn't like it that the students had to write underneath it. So I figured out what to do with that. So I found these really cute um, sentence strips. So I'm just going to, oh, excuse me, I just like burp hiccuped. Um, I'm going to write them on here today is yesterday was tomorrow will be and then i like it because it has the lines and then the students can practice writing the complete date using the lines because quality reading and quality writing is you know what we focus on here in first grade i am officially done i am in my car keys in the ignition and ready to go home with a huge target bag full of things to cut out when i get there but before I go home, the very last thing I'm going to do is step at Walmart because I realized how unprepared I was today. Like, no Velcro, no tape, no command strips, no, no, just no, nothing. So I'm going to stop there first and get a couple of things so that when I come back tomorrow, I'm a bit more prepared. And we're going to go from there. I'm, I feel accomplished. I set up the three walls that I said I was going to do. And... I call that a job well done. If you are excited to see more of my classroom transformation and want to see more of these classroom setup videos, go ahead and like and subscribe for me because I'll be doing this until it's finished anyway. So thanks for watching. Now that I think about it and I'm on my way home, I totally forgot there's a trunk full of stuff.
that I was supposed to drop off in my classroom.